And IOA Secretary General Lalit Bhanot charge cheated in the Commonwealth Games scam. Suresh Kalmari's aide Bhanot charge cheated, but former athletes are outraged. They are demanding Bhanot's resignation from the post of IOA Secretary General. We've got uh, Nisha Millet, Rita Abraham, Joachim Karwal also joining us. But first up to Michael Farella. You know, uh, do you think it's high time these people are stopped from playing sport, Michael? Well. <laughs> What can I say? Uh, if people have self-respect and there is such a body of opinion uh, against what they've done, I think common sense should prevail and they should step down of themselves. They should not be forced to step down. Whether they will or will not, well, that remains to be seen. But so far, there's no evidence that uh, uh, they are willing to quit, which is very, very unfortunate. Reet Abraham and Joachim Karwal are also with us. Reet, what's your point of view on this? Uh, you know, first up, isn't it surprising that he was allowed to be elected on a post and now he continues to stay on? Um, he, you know, I think he's uh, shamelessly trying to hold on to his uh, positions because uh, I think he has no life other than, you know, being uh, in the associations and federations holding posts there. And when he was clearly told by IOC, uh, you know, that he has been suspended and, uh, you know, they, they should not be allowed to participate in any of their elections, uh, you know, they legitimately had an uh, election for the IOA and then elected themselves and they are saying that they are the office bearers. And now that it is proven that he is, uh, you know, uh, charged, I think he should step down if he has any self-respect. What and if he doesn't? The Athletic Federation, I can see that. What if he doesn't? Who can push him out? No, I think the. Uh, yes, yes, the, the 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 government has to see that he they should not come anywhere near any of the federations. Even with the Athletic Federation now, though there is a body which is elected, uh, it is very clear that he you know that seat is still vacant for him, and he is taking all the decisions in the uh, you know Athletic Association. So you're trying to say it's the government that should intervene, the sports ministry that needs to intervene and tell him to step down if he doesn't do it yes. of his own volition? Definitely. Now that he's charged with, you know, all these charges, I mean, it's, it's, it's all there in black and white. Why can't he just step down? If he doesn't, then, you know, they, the, the government and the sports ministry has to take, uh, take charge of him stepping down. Joachim Karwalo also with us. Joachim, you, your point of view on this? Because they are pleading not guilty. So should the point of view be innocent until proven guilty or vice versa? Guilty until proven innocent? No, there's just one, way, one uh, word over here. They have to go. You know, you cannot wait for this, you know, uh, uh, proof guilty or not guilty. Mm -hmm. When the IOC charter has already, you know, clearly mentioned that, you know, the IOA officials, all the standard officials should go. I don't understand why they have to still cling on to their uh, chair and you know being a further disgrace to the Indian sporting fraternity. Uh, are you surprised why the government is sitting and watching when all this is play, play, playing out right under their nose? I think it's high time that the government intervenes and takes a very firm stand and, and uh, in this whole episode which is going on, the whole drama that's going on, you know, with you know some uh, with these officials uh, saying that they are not been guilty and they should carry on. And uh, it's not only these officials, it is also the other officials who contested the IO election, supporting them and went against the IOC directives. That clearly shows what sort of character this, uh, all these officials are made up of and what, is the, uh, what, uh, what all they have bought for Indian sports all these years. So I think you know, the government should intervene and uh, with a very firm hand see that these officials are uh, shown the way. But what's stopping the government, Joachim? Because I'm sure a lot of the you know, former athletes, former Olympians, you all have taken up a campaign, you have approached the government, but what's stopping the government? I don't know what's stopping the government. The government must have spoken to them, you know, must have, you know, tried to, you know, give them uh, some uh, hearing or, you know, some uh, sort of, uh, uh, I don't know what, uh, the government must have spoken to them, you know, that uh, yeah, now that now it's high time you go from here and, you know, make way, make way for the others. So you've got to wait and see what, the, what stand the government takes after this decision. Reith, has the call for cleaning sports, Indian, uh, Indian sports, uh, fallen on deaf ears with the government? You know, you've been taking up the campaign. Uh, we've been trying for the past, uh, you know, two years to do something about it. And, uh, you know, the fact that these guys have been behind bars for almost 
six, seven months clearly shows that they have some serious allegations against them. And when that has been proven, I really don't understand why the ministry or the government is stopping them. You know, they, they say that the, the law is, unless they have been really framed, you cannot really ask them to, uh, you know, not contest in the elections. But I think it is really, really sad the way uh, things are uh, going. I mean, it's, it's very clear these guys for the past so many years have, you know, been there but done nothing about the improvement of sports or the promotion of the athletes. And when, uh, you know, they've been, uh, you know, charges have been uh, against them, uh, they have to just gracefully step down, which they are not doing. So the ministry has to take charge. Time Lalit Bharat goes. That's the call. Uh, Reet Abraham, Jokin Karwalo, Michael Ferreira, thanks for talking to us. We've got to get a move on here on this edition of the game.